What's up, creative? So today, actually tonight, I wanted to talk to you guys about one major mistake that you guys need to avoid. So real quick, let's talk real quick. Before we get into that major mistake that you should avoid, I wanted to show you guys some clips. I actually went to this cool ice cream. It's like a rolled ice cream place in Atlanta. It's called the Ice Kitchen ATL. And my friend Daniel, he actually owns it. And the reason that I went there was because he reached out to me on YouTube. That full 60 Mark II uh, review that I did with YC when he was here in Atlanta. So Daniel actually commented on the video and he was like, I guess he was like, this is sick. I can't remember, but I'll put it on the screen. And he told me that he had an ice cream shop out in Kennesaw, which is about 15 minutes away from me north. So, so I was like, man, I'm going to head out there, but I never went. So a couple days ago, I woke up in the morning and I looked at my YouTube notifications and I noticed somebody had commented on that video. So I went to it and looked at their comment and then I actually saw his comment and I was like, Hmm, I can go get some ice cream. So I asked my girlfriend and Ace if they wanted to go get some ice cream. Of course, always in for ice cream, down for that. So we went out there and this is what happened. What's up guys, so today we came out to visit the ice cream kitchen, ATL. Do you see the lighting? The lighting is super swaggy in here. I love all these bulbs back here. You see the bokeh going on right there? It's, it's free fire right here, all this going on. It's dope. So we actually got them actually making the rolled ice cream right here, right now. And the colors are just <laughs> magnificent in here, I love it. So I'm here with Daniel right now. He's actually the owner and like the whole innovator of this actual company, the shop, everything right now. The reason I actually came out here today was because coming on one of my videos on the 60 Mark II and he was like, I got a shop out in Kennesaw, and, you know, you should come by. I don't know if he invited me, but I was like, I'm coming for sure because I want to <laughs> check out the spot. I guess he was checking out some of the reviews on the 6D2 or something and we linked like that. So today I decided to come out here, man. So what made you, what made you get to like start this whole shop? Yeah, I moved down from New York like almost two years ago now, but I came down and I was like, yo, I want to start a coffee shop or something yeah. and just start researching into different industry that I can get into and ice cream was a uh, easy, you know, in industry to start off and yeah, then yeah, yeah. expand into other things so you know walked into rolled ice cream shop didn't like it so I was like I was living in Marietta so I knew this area really well okay sweet and there was no like coffee shop that is out here that had this kind of like New York City like city vibe oh, yeah, so yeah. I was like I'm just gonna open one here now and just start it and see where it goes sweet that's dope so yeah. wait, why, why were you on my video that day what were you doing on that? I got into YouTube doing this okay. I was like I want to just document my journey as a 25 year old running a business okay and I started looking into different cameras and then ended up on your video from YC imaging oh dope dope and from then YC. I was like yo like he's in Atlanta so I was like I'm gonna hit him up. I don't that's know if you can see it, but yeah, that's dope, man. Yeah, I definitely saw it. So that's why I'm out here today, man. Thanks for inviting me out. Thank you. Appreciate it. Straight up. Chocolate. I love chocolate. Chocolate chip. And I'll do some sprinkles. That's good. Anything else? That's it. Thank you. So boom, got me some rolled ice cream. I'm about to try this, it looks delicious. I got some chocolate chips and what's this, the espresso? Espresso with chocolate sauce. Espresso with chocolate sauce, rolled ice cream with sprinkles and chocolate chips. Chocolate, let's get it. All right, so this is my first time trying this. Let's see how this tastes. Oh my God, it's so good, it's so good. If you live in Atlanta or if you're visiting Atlanta, I'm sorry, I have my mouth full, it's so good, I gotta tell you. Make sure you come here and you try out this rolled ice cream. And make sure you come say what's up to Daniel. So that was a cool time out there, man. Daniel, shout out to Daniel. He has an amazing ice cream shop. You guys need to go there if you want to have some really good rolled ice cream in Atlanta. If you're ever in Atlanta, go stop by the shop. Tell him that Creative Ryan sent you. Now let's talk about that one major mistake that you guys need to avoid. Comparing yourself and equipment. Comparing is a very terrible, terrible trait of us creators that we need to avoid. Comparing cameras, like this camera's awesome, but this camera will be better if I do this, and this camera will be better if I do this, and this camera will be even better if I do this that but it doesn't it lacks here or comparing ourselves to other people like oh man his colors are way better than mine oh those are dope colors but it doesn't matter at the end of the day people might love your colors so you don't need to be worried about what other people's colors look like because yours are probably popping yourself you just don't realize it because you're too busy comparing yourself to other people or looking at other people's work I'm a prime example of comparing camera equipment camera gear cameras not even camera gear just cameras for the past maybe six months or more I've been comparing cameras buying cameras selling it maybe a week Week later from after I buy it and it was a huge huge mistake and I just oh god it was the worst time buying something not liking it because of a little feature missing and then trying to sell it to somebody else and then buying another one and then not liking that one because of you like the what the other one had and then you like this one because 
It's a freaking sickness. We as creatives need to avoid comparing ourselves to other people and comparing our camera gear. Major mistake, stop comparing, start creating. That's been my slogan for a while now and I even have been going against it. Like I've been falling victim to it. But now I've actually picked up cameras that I enjoy and I will be using for a long, long time. It's, it's better just to, if you got the money, get the best camera that fits every single need that you have and stop comparing yourself to other people because you probably have pretty dope work yourself. You can get inspired, catch inspo from people, but don't trick yourself into thinking that your work is not as good as somebody else's just because you like something about their work. I think we all do this. We look at other people and we'll compare ours to it. Like, oh, mine isn't like that. And I just wish my colors were like that. Oh my God, the fades on his is so awesome. Oh gosh. No, stop comparing start creating. Let's avoid comparing anything and let's just create. Now that we've been talking about cameras, let's go ahead and roll some 1DX Mark II test footage. So there you have it, a couple cool test shots from the Canon 1DX Mark II. I was just testing that out in 120 frames per second, just because like we were just trying to test it out, play with it, and I also wanted to create some LUTs for you, which will be coming to the channel in a few days. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I hope you enjoyed the style of it. It's kind of different, but I just decided to try something different. And I'm trying to work on my lighting setup in the house so it looks good for you guys, so you guys can like see and it'll look really good with like the backlight and the green and the, you know, it, it's so dope. Shout out to Aperture. I always use my Aperture light. I'm sure you guys know this already i love aperture that's what's keying me right now it looks good it looks good right all this looks good right it's it's a nice color I, i'll be doing more cool stuff like this for the channel also if you like the way that this canon 1dx mark ii looked and you just don't have the money to actually buy this camera because it is a pretty expensive camera then head down into the description and there's a couple links to some alternative cameras that are similar to this camera just a lot cheaper and when i say cheaper it doesn't mean that the quality is going to be any worse or terribly bad it's just it's just a cheaper budgeted same type of camera all right i'm done talking I gotta pack my bags. I'm going on a road trip to LA tomorrow and I just, I need to edit this all up so I can put it out for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you enjoyed this, man, please slap the like button, like this video, and you should share it so other people could see it because I'm really trying to grow to 100K this year and we're gonna be doing just so much more stuff on this channel. It's just gonna be ridiculous. Just make sure that you stay around, stick around. If you're new, stick around. If you're already here, just know that a lot more is coming. Drop me a comment too and tell me how you like this this, this setup. If you want me to do more of this, this right here, this right here. I love it. I don't know. I, just, I gotta go, man. Peace out.